guess who's back? Back again. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be walking you through the complete setup and optimization of Simu 1.17.4. I've had a lot of time on my hands recently, so I've been scouring the net to bring you the latest in performance settings from the Simu community. I research so you don't have to. Also, if you follow me for the many, many cheat tables I release for Simu, these optimizations will speed up their performance as well. Let's begin. There are multiple ways to update Simu, grabbing fresh files or simply using Simu's built-in update feature. To use Simu's update feature, just open Simu, navigate to the help option at the top, and click on check for updates. This will run the update feature and check if there's any new ones out there. As you can see, I've already got the latest version, 1.17.4 as of this video, so there's nothing to download. We're good. Another way to update is to download fresh files from the Simu website. You'll also want to be sure you're grabbing the latest SimuHook version to ensure compatibility with the latest Simu. Now that we have the latest Simu and SimuHook versions downloaded, we need to navigate to our existing Simu installation and drag over the files from the zips. We'll start with Simu. Windows will likely ask you if you want to overwrite these files. Click Yes. Now we'll do the same for SimiHook. Again, if prompted, choose to overwrite the existing files. And we're done with updating. Now let's go through a fresh install. If you're like me, you've had to do this on occasion when you've become a little too whimsical with your modding experiments. You lose track of which tweaks broke what, so you want to start fresh. Let's start fresh. Now, decide where you want your new installation of Simu to live and drag over the entire Simu folder from your zip file. Next, you're going to want to move Simu hook over into your new installation directory. Simply drag and drop from the Simu hook zip file. All right, we're primed and ready to optimize. Now before we even open Simu for the first time, let's adjust our compatibility settings. Right click your Simu.exe file and select Properties. Now navigate to the Compatibility tab. Check Run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Next, click on the Change High DPI Settings button. Check both boxes in this menu and click OK. Now we're done with compatibility settings. Alright, let's open Simu for the first time. You'll likely be prompted to download Simu's graphic packs. Do it. You'll need them to get the most out of Simu. Next, since we installed Simu Hook in an earlier step, you'll notice at the bottom of the Simu window, in blue, an option to download shared fonts. Go ahead and do that now. Cool, we're done with that step. Next, we'll navigate to the Options menu and select General Settings. In here, we can set things like checking for automatic updates, remembering window positions, and most importantly, our games path. Now let's set our games directory. Now you're gonna wanna navigate to your main games folder that contains all your games. and select it. All right, we're done with that step. 
Next, let's jump over one tab to Graphics. Under Graphics API, you'll see two options, OpenGL and Vulkan. If you're running an onboard Intel graphics processor or AMD card, you want to select Vulkan. For NVIDIA users, OpenGL will work just fine. Go ahead and set the upscale filter to bilinear and we're done with this section. Next, navigate to the Audio tab. Change the general API to X-Audio 2. Under TV, change your device to your main sound card device, and under Channels, change it from Stereo to Surround. You can do the same for your gamepad. Alright, we're done with general settings. As you can see, after setting our main games directory, it's picking up all the games we have available. Now we'll want to install updates and DLC. We'll use this game as an example. Navigate to the file menu and select Install Game Update or DLC. Now you want to navigate to the directory where you have your updates and DLC, go inside your folder, find the meta folder, and then find meta.xml, and that's the file you want to select. You'll do this for both updates and DLC. All right, it's as easy as that. Alright, on to controller setup. You'll navigate to Options and then Input Settings. Now under Controller, I like to select Wii U Pro Controller because I'm a pro. And then X Input because I'm using uh, an Xbox controller. Then you'll set your buttons. Oh, first you have to select your controller. Now you can set your buttons. Here you can set your rumble. I tend not to set my rumble just because it helps preserve battery life if you don't use it. But if you're into rumbling, this section's for you. Here we can save the controller profile we've created. I like to give it a name meaningful, something like uh, Xbox Wii U Pro Controller. Then be sure to save it. And now you can see it's a selectable option now. All right, let's talk about dead zones. If you got a controller that's failing like I do, you might need to use one of these dead zone modifiers. You can experiment with it and see what works best for your situation. And that's it, we're done with the controller setup. Now let's walk through setting up your graphics packs. This step is very important to the optimization of your games. We'll use Breath of the Wild as an example. To begin with, under Enhancements, I like to select Clarity and leave it on the default preset. Then I choose No Depth of Field. This can help improve performance. Under resolution and shadow resolution, uh, you can set them to whatever scaling you like. For my purpose, I'll set it to 1920 by 1080. And you can do the same for shadow resolution. I like to leave mine at medium. Next, under FPS, you want to select every option. Next, under workarounds, there's a few settings here that can improve performance depending on which graphics card you have. Since I have an NVIDIA card, I'll select the NVIDIA options. Since we know OpenGL applies to NVIDIA, we'll select those options as well. 
All right, we're done with graphic packs. All right, let's go through some GPU optimizations. You can right click anywhere on your desktop background and select NVIDIA control panel. This will bring up the GPU options. Click on Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Select Use the Advanced 3D Image Setting. Now click Take Me There. Now click on the Program Settings tab. Click on Add. Now select the Wii U emulator. Turn vertical sync to off, triple buffering to on, threaded optimization to on, Turn power management to prefer maximum performance. Under OpenGL rendering, change it to your specific GPU. Click apply at the bottom and you are done. Setup and optimizations complete. All right, guys, because there was so much to cover, I really didn't spend a lot of time on the why of these settings. But if there's anything you want to know why I made the selections I made, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. So there you have it, my complete semi setup guide. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.